Hey guys, in this video we are going to see how do you create a conditional drop down. On my screen I have an app and here it is asking me select a brand and I am going to select a phone brand let's say I am going to select Apple and below this based on my selection it is going to show me the specific models of Apple. For example Apple 1, 13, 14 like this it is showing. Now if I change my condition let's say the first one I am selecting to Samsung immediately the select model also is changing as per the Samsung mod model. So this is actually a conditional drop down. So how this drop down is created is something we are going to learn in this video. Now for this the very first thing what I will we need is entities okay. So everything from the scratch I am going to start so I am going to delete which I have created. The very first thing we will do, we will click on this three dots and then click on data service. Now on this data service page, I am going to click on create new entity. We are going to create two different entity means table. So I am going to create the first table which will have the brand names. Okay, I will say phone brand names and I will create one more table which will have the model names. So here we are actually using two different tables. So phone uh, model names, model means iPhone 12, 13, 14, brand means Apple, Samsung like that. Okay. So here is the model name. I am going to hit on save. Now let's add some data inside the brand names. Click on this, go to data. So data is currently blank. I am going to add some data into this. Okay, into this specific one. Now before adding data, we will create a field. This fields are system generated fields. So first create a field and here I am going to give it a name called uh, brand names. Okay, brand names and then or I will say brand name, brand name and I am going to hit on save. So now a column got created. Now I can add data. So there is only one column in this table. Let's say I am going to say apple. I am going to add let's say Samsung, we can add multiple such all the brand names that you know. Let's say OnePlus and let's add uh, uh, what else, let's say Nokia, Redmi, there are so many things okay. You can keep adding and you can see if you click on the data all this column, this column got created, the rest of it are system generated okay, don't worry about this, just focus on this column. So this got created. Now let's go back to the other entity, entity means table, so I am going to the other table, phone model name, where I will add the uh, phones, for example for Apple iPhone 12, 13, 14 like that we will add. So here let's create some fields, the first field I will name it as brand name where it will have apple and beside that I will create one more column new field means these are the columns okay and here I am saying uh, model model name simple done and I am going to hit on save. So what happened here if I go back to the data there are two uh, go back to the fields there are two different columns got created brand name and model name. Let us add some data for example I am going to add the data for Apple and the model name I will say uh, let us say iPhone 12 ok likewise I am going to repeat So I have added different data for two different models likewise we can continue for all the models. So I have Samsung and I have Apple and these are the different models that I have added. So you can continue for all other brands. Okay. Now this entity is created. Now let us go to the studio. Now in the studio I am going to delete everything so that we can start from scratch. Okay. Now the very first thing we will 
import those entities so click on this one and then click on entity and here i have the phone brand name and i have the phone model name and i'm going to click on add so phone brand name and model name both the tables we are importing inside our uipath app studio okay so now both of them have been added i think these are the previous ones i'm going to delete that i see some of the errors that is for the previous tables so here you can see phone brand name and model name both the entities have come now let's look at something let's say for example i'm going to phone brand name and if you click on data this phone brand name has got apple samsung oneplus like all these things which we have entered and if we go to the model name only for two different brands we have entered the data rest we have not because this is just a demo so here i am saying apple 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 and then 12 13 14 okay and here samsung samsung and here these are the models so this is how the data is appearing now let's go back to our uipath app studio here if you have a blank one it's fine just all you do simply drag and drop a drop down box in the drop down box in the label let me say select brand done select brand now for this one what i am going to do i'll click on this list source say equals to and the entity which there are two entities so two tables we have added one is one contains only the brand names i am going to tag to this one and this could have multiple columns but here in our case this only contains one column so here i will click on this one and then i am going to add the brand name so apple samsung like that lap you so let's have a preview now on this window you can see apple samsung oneplus nokia this is quite simple you know this this is fine this is how it has appeared okay we got the first one now the next thing is we will add one more drop down here and here i have to say select model select model here it should be able to if i am selecting apple it should only show the apple models if i am selecting samsung it should only show the samsung models now for that actually it's quite simple all you have to do select this and click here okay and here i have to write a filter condition so a filter function to write a filter function first of all you need to understand how we write okay how we write you need to understand you have to write equals to filter entity and condition that means it is quite simple equals to and here if you scroll down there are multiple predefined functions and i'm going to select the function filter source and condition very pretty simple so i'm going to drag this one and then i'll use two parentheses and in the first one i have to mention the entity name so how do you mention the entity name keep the mouse pointer here and i'm going to select the entity entity means table so i'm going to drag and drop so which table we need the second table right phone model name this is the second table so i need this so you can put it or double click on this so this is the table name this is the source now we have to write condition now to write condition all you have to do use this square brackets okay so here i am going to use and before using square bracket the comma is required okay you have to put a comma and then square bracket so first i'll use a comma and then i'll use two square brackets simple now inside this square bracket i have to write something so how do you write i am going to tell you so till now what we have done we have said filter and we have mentioned the entity which is phone model names this is the table right phone model name is the table and then we have to, we'll put a comma and inside this we have to write a condition so what we will do we'll simply write this condition like this so table is phone model names and the column name is model name comma look at this comma is given and then i'm going to say within double quotes i will say equals to like in general programming we write equals to right same thing but here double quote and commas are used that's all equals to and i'm going to say again in the double quote let's say i'm going to filter out only apple so this is how it is going to read so when you filter out apple what would happen it will show all the things which has which contains apple the model name apple it is going to show the results and there is a which column out of that entire table which column i need i need the second column right the second column is nothing but 
your model name. So how it is working? I yet to write it. Okay, I yet to write it here. But how it will work? If I'm, if it is Apple, then all the model name will come. Okay, we'll just copy paste the same thing. Phone number and in the square bracket, I am going to use. Uh, let me first show you how it works. So here I am going to select uh, for the model name. I am going to select where brand name. Okay, phone model name uh, dot brand name, comma, and within this I'll use a double you know question uh, equals to symbol. Then again put a comma, and I'm going to use a hard coded value. Let's say I'm going to simply say Apple. If I'm putting a hard coded value, what would happen? If it meets Apple, it is going to show the model name. Whatever the results are coming, it will come here. So first, let's understand this. Click on Preview. Okay. So here, um, you know, if I select, you can see only 12, 13, 14 results are coming because I have hard coded the value as Apple. So only Apple results are coming. Getting it? So if you hard code like this, it will come only. So I don't want to hard code. Rather, I want to use the value as per the user selection in the previous uh, drop down. So the previous drop down value, if you scroll down here under the page, okay, under the page. So this is the one, right? Drop down selected value, the first drop down. You can you know provide proper names. For example, for this one, I'm going to write a proper name. Uh, brand selected brand select or select brand okay and for this one give proper names because it will be confusing select model now here what happens I will continue the condition here here if you come uh, the select brand the select brand dot selected value will contain whatever the user is selecting this is the variable you don't have to use a variable by doing a date uh, value binding you can see directly drag and drop this one selected brand for this one whatever is getting selected will store here so i'm using that selected brand dot value okay now you see how it is going to transform itself i'm going to return preview let's say i'm going to select apple and now in the drop down only apple things are coming now let's say i'm going to select samsung if i go to this this one you can see the samsung models have come so this way it has become more dynamic right so thank you guys for watching this is more about how do you create a conditional drop down so i think through this example you must have understood how a conditional drop down can be created but here the condition is you are creating two two different entities for this so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content with a lot of new learnings